another adventure with me and all my friends.
Here comes another adventure with our son Gumby and his friends. I'm so proud of our boy. He's on the moon, all right. I've got to go after him. <gasps> oh. Sorry, it's cold.
on the moon. But I'm sure glad to be back. Holy Toledo, here's another Gumby adventure. Yep, he's on the moon all right. I gotta go after him. Calling Dr. Stitch and Zipper. Calling Dr. Stitch and Zipper. You're wanted on the fifth floor. Dr. Gumbo, wanted in the operating room. Dr. Gumbo, the operating room. I'm all ready, dear.
was on the moon. But I'm sure glad to be back, Mother. Gumby! Holy Toledo! Here's another Gumby adventure! some shopping I'd like for you to do for me right away. Buy a loaf of bread and a dozen eggs. Here's 50 cents. Hold on to it tight. Remember, if you lose it, you must pay for it out of your own allowance. All right, Mother. Did you see my 50 cent piece? Thin chance of that. Maybe you weren't looking when it came in. Thin chance of that. It has to be somewhere. If it rolled in here, it would be so thin, it would be worth less than a dime. Oh. <laughs> Have you seen my coin? <laughs> oh, buddy, if a coin came in here, it would be so big, you'd never be able to carry it out. Oh. <laughs> If you come in here, you have to do everything backwards. Even talking. Understand? Yeah. Where is it? Ha, ha. Uh, it is where? Yes.
Holy Toledo, here's another Gumby adventure. Gumby, have you made your bed and picked up your things? They're all done, Mother. Good. There's some shopping I'd like you to do for me right away. Buy a loaf of bread and a dozen eggs. Here's 50 cents. Hold on to it tight. Remember, if you lose it, you must pay for it out of your own allowance. All right, Mother. Let her go. If you come in here, you have to do everything backwards, even talking. You understand? Yes. Where is it? Uh, uh. Um, uh, it is where? Yes.
Holy Toledo. Here's another Gumby adventure. storybook entitled Western Stories. For anyone who finds this pony, there is a reward of 100 ice cream cones offered by the owner, Farmer Glenn, who lives in the same storybook. Any person seeing this lost pony, report it immediately to this station or your local police. Mom, may I go out and play now? Gumby, swallow your food before you speak. Hmm, may I go out and play? All right. But put on your gumbometer and watch that you get neither too hot nor too cold. Gumby, clean up your mess and put back the milk. Thank you for saving me, but I'm not really lost. I just wanted to look around. Staying in one book all the time can get tiresome. Oh, you can talk. What's your name? Pokey. What a funny name. <laughs> What's your name? Gumby. <laughs> Where do you live, Pokey? Follow me. I'll show you. You hear anything? Uh -uh. That train sure made me nervous. Come right in. Don't move, 
I'm sure glad you're back safe. And thank you, Sonny. Here's your reward. 100 ice cream cones. But I only... It's all right, Sonny. I want you to have them. Here, before they melt. Blockheads can't get in here. Gives me an idea. Let's go in for a moose milk shake, Gumby. chocolate milkshake without ice cream and one oatmeal shake, please. as a board.
Holy Toledo, here's another Gumby adventure. Dear Gumby, could you come to our farm right away? We need your help. Mother, may I go to see Farmer Glenn? Yes, but wash your face first. Oh, Gumby, haven't you forgotten something? Take your gumbombature and be home by sundown. Okay, Mother. Goodbye. Goodbye. I wonder why he's in such a hurry. Oh, Gumby, am I glad you came. What's the matter, Pookie? Something terrible. Oh, what is it? Follow me. I'll show you. There, see? Our crops go up in a funny way now. Oh, they are funny. I sure hope you can help us, Sonny. My crops just won't grow right anymore. Can't you make seeds grow right, Gumby? Well, I can try. Can I use anything in your barn? It's all yours, Sonny. Behind you, Gumby.
crops grow all right now, Gumby. Thanks. You're a fantastic farmer. Here comes more fun with Gumby and Pals. One day, Gumby was out on Farmer Glenn's farm helping plant corn seeds. Something strange happened to the seeds almost at once. They grew up instantly into giant ears of corn. Gumby, you can see, really had a problem on his hands. Insects are a nuisance. I'm no insect. Huh. Who are you? I'm a gopher, silly. And a father of 300 children. 300? They eat up corn roots so fast, I have to put chemicals into the corn seeds to make them grow bigger roots. Mr. Gopher, if you wait here till 5 o'clock, I'll show you a much better way to make more roots. Well, all right, but only until 5 o'clock. We gophers get hungry fast. Oh, thank you, Mr. Gopher. <laughs> Will you bring me some dry weeds, Pokey? Just a minute, children, just a minute.
Mr. Gopher. I got it. I got it for you. Plenty of roads. All the food you Get so dirty. In a gopher hole, Mother. Holy Toledo, here's another Gumby adventure. for someone who will make the Black Knight take the spell off the dragon who is burning our wheat. Where is this Black Knight? He lives in that forest over there. We've got to see the Black Knight. The Black Knight? Oh, no. But nobody who sees the Black Knight ever comes back alive. from your magic spell. <laughs> you must first defeat me in a joust tomorrow morning outside the castle. All right. <laughs> Your Highness, if Gumby defeats the Black Knight, the dragon will stop burning our wheat. Then he must win. Give him the finest horse and armor. Over here, my friend.
has lost his lance and armor, poor fellow. Holy Toledo, here's another Gumby adventure. Pardon me, sir magician. Pardon me, Green Sir. I am on an important mission for the king. What are you doing here, Mr. Knight? Well, my king has sent me to search for a magician who can fight big fires. Oh, that's easy. Come on, I'll show you something. We can fight almost any kind of fires with this. Watch. Magnificent. May we take this machine to our castle? Sure. Come up and ride here. You are a kind magician indeed. goes there, friend or foe? It's all right. We are here to see the king. Lower the drawbridge and raise the gate. <laughs> Mr. Knight. It's all right. Say, what is your name, magician? Gumby. <laughs> Why is everybody crying? They are hungry. Lately, many mysterious fires have burned up so many fields of wheat that there is not enough bread for everybody. Go tell the king about your firefighting machine. Fire! Fire! The wheat is burning! Ooh. 
We got to hurry. Hang on tight. Magnificent. Well done, Gumby. Now we have to find that dragon. Dragon? Yes. From the castle wall, I saw a dragon setting the fire. Be careful, Gumby. Dragons can be vicious. Please, please don't harm me. I don't want to hurt you. But you hurt all the other people by burning their wheat. That's very naughty. <laughs> What is your full name, young man? Just Gumby, your highness. For saving the food supply of the kingdom, I hereby make you Sir Gumby, Knight of the Fire Engine. Thank you, your majesty. But what about the dragon? Ha, 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 ha. Well, from henceforth, the dragon will be the favorite royal pet of this castle. <laughs> Holy Toledo, here's another Gumby adventure. It's running away from here. Well, which way did they go? Sending that bully away. You are very welcome. But who are you? We are music notes. She's my sister, too. And I'm Lou. We were so dizzy going round and round on that record, and so tired playing in the same song over and over, we decided to escape. But where will you go now? Well, we'll find our home. There, we can play new tunes. Oh. But where is your home? We don't exactly remember, except that it's somewhere in Music Land. Oh. I can take you to Music Land. Come on! Are you notes missing a brother and sister? <laughs> oh, Tui and Lou. We just started to look. Cheer up. Oh, boy. Maybe this is your...
your home. Are these your brother and sister? <laughs> They're much too small for us. Much too small. <laughs> Uh-oh. I see I'll have to cheer you up. You sit there now while I show you something to make you feel better. Mr. Sarnout, we'll let you go if you tell us where Tu and Lu belong. <laughs> ah, the flute. Hooray! 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 Sour? Oh, Sour? You come home this instant. All right. Toledo, here's another Gumby adventure. What's the password? <whistles> well, that's fine for you two children. But what about you in front? <whistles> that's more like it.
On Saturdays, Gumby used toy robots to do his chores so that he and his pal Pokey could relax. But on this day, something unexpected happened. Mother, may we both have a glass of milk? Certainly may. Are you getting your work done all right? Look out the window, Mother. Well, I declare, that was a clever idea. But remember to return the robots when you're through with them. certainly deserve some crackers with their milk. Gumby, look. Ah! Gumby! Yes, Mother? I want you to... Department. 
Oh, right away, dear. Are you all right, dear? You came just in time. Anybody hurt? No, but go to the garage quickly. Phew. Look, Gumby, your father didn't stop that one. Uh-oh. There's only one way to stop that robot now. Toledo. Here's another Gumby adventure. Hey, Gumby. Come out and play, Gumby. Hey, Gumby. I know how you can play and get your work done at the same time. Really? Come on, I'll show you. If you were small, you could ride on my back. How's this? Great. Hop on. Now hang on tight, Gumby. Here 
Here we are. See what I mean? Sure. The robots can work for me. Right. to play, don't you? Sure! How do you feel, Gumby? A little dizzy. I hope those robots don't cause any trouble. Ah, look. They're doing fine. Now we can play. Holy Toledo! Here's another Gumby adventure. Time for little boys to get up, son. Get up, Gumby. His temperature is all right. Hmm. He's still dreaming, dear. I think I know what'll wake him up. That should take care of him.
He was dreaming about his birthday presents. Goodbye, dear. I'll be home for the party. Happy birthday, Gumby. Oh, thank you, Mother. We have a wonderful surprise for you this year. Oh, boy. Tell me, Mother. What is it? What is it? Well, your father and I want you to choose any toy you wish. And you may have all day to pick it out. Wow, we really? Good morning, Mrs. Gumba. Good morning, Pokey. Gumby is out choosing his birthday present. Oh, maybe I can help. Which way did he go? He went in that direction. too small for you. That's what you think. Well, son, what toy did you choose for yourself today? Oh, your train got away, Gumby. Too bad. will bring a train home for you tomorrow. Toledo, here's another Gumby adventure.
Gumby, oh Gumby. you choose your birthday present? Sure, Pookie. Stay where you are. I'll be right down. Here I come. Oops. Sorry, Pookie. Say, Gumby, how about that? No, it's too big. Try it first and see. Well, all right. That's too small for you. That's what you think. Crazy, man. more 
fun with Gumby and Pals. Ladies and gentlemen, a lion has just been reported missing from the zoo. All residents of Gumbasia are cautioned to stay indoors and keep all doors and windows locked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Here I come. Ready or not. Say, what's wrong with you fellas anyway? Have either of you seen the zookeeper? I bet he's furious looking for me. Then what are you doing out? Oh, I was tired living at the zoo, so I decided to see the world and seek my fortune. Well, no use standing here in the sun all day. Um... Would one of you lads mind showing me the best way to go see the world? Uh, uh, my name's Gumby. Hi, Gumby. I'm Richard the Lion. I'm uh, Pokey. Well, let's be off. Hey, wait for me. Ladies and gentlemen, the lion missing from the zoo is still at large. Our zookeeper is making every effort to return the animal to its cage. Lion nets have been set up all over the city. I repeat, stay inside and keep your doors and windows locked. I better go look for him, dear. Goodbye. Gumby. Oh, Gumby. Oh, Gumby. 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 Gumby! I got him! I got him! My, that lion has grown since he's been out. Just stay here in the zoo. Gumby, help! Father! Gee, Father, how did you get in there? I got caught in a lion trap. Now just let me out, son. A lion? Hi! This is Richard, Father. He's our new friend. Hi, Mr. Gumbo. Thanks for taking care of my home for me while I was gone. Well, I've got to be getting in.
Thank you, Gumby. Would you close the door for me, please? All right. Ah, safe at last. Bye, Richard. Bye, fellas. Come see me soon. We will. Bye. Here comes more fun with Gumby and Pals. That's just the thing to see the world in. Swell, Richard. Come on, Pokey. Let's go. Let me drive, Gumby. Well, have you ever driven before? No. Well, I guess you can learn. Hop in. This is a library. Only, how come the seats are all backwards? It's because you're going backwards. Here, pull the shift to go forward. I can't. My foot's asleep. This life is too much for me. I'm thirsty. Me too. Good night, Gumby. Mother, may I go to the zoo tomorrow? Hot diggity!
Good night, Mother. Good night, Father. Good night. what this is. Yes, Gumby. Rhinoceros. No, this animal laid eggs. It's a reptile, like that lizard in the cage. The rhinoceros is a mammal and does not lay eggs. This is a dinosaur. Now imagine you were living 200 million years ago when the dinosaurs were roaming the earth. Giving you trouble, friend. They took that egg and won't give it back. Hey, Henry, toss that egg over here. Uh uh. Finders keepers. Then you can't play in my pond anymore. Oh. All right. Sorry. 
You're welcome anytime. Bye. <laughs> 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 What is the name of this dinosaur? Trixie! I mean, Triceratops. Good. Here comes more fun with Gumby and Pals. Hey, Bruno, you let him go. stand guard over these eggs. All right. My mother should. But she's always out eating somewhere. Some appetite. Like two eggs are cracked. <laughs> ah, Trixie, you still have five left. What is that, Trixie? Sounds like a stampede. We better find my mother quick. Trixie? I'm okay, Mom. Let's go check the nest, Trixie. Ha, 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 ha.
It's a good thing I took these two eggs with me, because all the others were broken. <laughs> we better get these eggs hatched right away before anything else happens to them. <laughs> what we need right away is an incubator. We'll just put the eggs in this oven and set the heat very low. And while waiting for them to hatch, I'll show you some real keen toys. Toys? What's that? You'll see. Come on. Gumby. Oh, Gumby. Hmm, that's a funny place to keep eggs. What's that? That's a train. Ouch, ouch. Help, help. Gumby! Gumby!